If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Yo, so what is up guys? It's JJ2K and today's video, yes, I got you guys with another brand new VC glitch. Now in today's video, let me just say right now, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. I'm not going to ask for a subscription. I don't do that. I do want to earn that, but I will say if you guys love VC glitches and anything revolving around 2K21, you guys might as well leave a like in this video because you guys will be here for a while. I can promise you that. Within saying everything though, in today's video, like I said, I got you guys with another VC glitch you guys have not seen this one yet so get ready sit back relax and enjoy so let's get straight in this i've already done enough talking also bro do you like my face cam bro can you not tell me my face cam does not look wavy if you guys don't know who this is it is quavo i think it looks pretty good i don't know let me know down in the comment section below if you knew who it was let me know if you guys want a face scan tutorial too because i actually have a bunch of face scans that can get to look like this so if you guys are interested in that just let me know but again that's off topic the first thing we're going to want to do to start this glitch we're going to want to start a new my career so now i'm going to say i'm just going to recommend making a center just follow what i do this is really not that important but this is going to help you guys do a lot of things with this glitch we're going to select the defense and finishing pie chart we're going to pick the strength and vertical pie chart and then from here just max out everything this really doesn't matter because you're not going to be upgrading the player what this is just going to allow us to do it's basically going to secure us the most vc possible with this player and this is going to help a lot towards the vc glitch that i'm about to show you guys how to do it okay so again once you do make this player just make him seven foot three as well max out everything again this really doesn't matter that much but again this does help for the process just to make everything just a tad bit easier so once we do create this player we're gonna hop straight into the nba once it gives us this option we're gonna skip the prelude this is not for the college or high school experience that is not what this glitch is about so again like i said we're about to get greeted with the screen of asking us what we want to do with this player we're going to hit yes to just skip straight to the nba and this is what's going to help set up this glitch in order to start now i will say also while this loads this is for xbox and ps4 so don't worry i got both consoles in today's video now when also picking a team so just let just letting you guys know we're going to want to pick a team that is not going to make the playoffs this is crucial what this is going to do and the reason why i started a new player is because i'm not a starter yet so i'm not in the second season and i don't want to screw up your guys' characters now so this is the whole reason why you make another character i'm going to recommend going to the cavaliers and also picking archie ball for your agent from there we are gonna sim until the end of the regular season now why this sims let me just let you know as long as you guys are listening you guys will not mess up the reason why we're simming until the end of the season once you get out of your first season whether it be on a new character or the current character that you have you're going to get offered a bigger contract and what that's going to do is going to help set up this vc glitch so we can get even more vc a game while doing this method do not worry once we get it all set up you guys are going to be earning a ridiculous amount of vc i'm talking like 50k an hour type thing like this is a very good vc glitch but you guys need to do this very soon or i'm this one is definitely going to get patched, okay? This is the most game-breaking VC glitch that there is so far in NBA 2K21. So take full advantage of this while you guys have it. And like I said, once we do sim to the end of the regular season, you guys need to follow along with these steps as we're almost out of the regular season currently. Don't worry, I got you guys in today's video. Now also, on another note, speaking about this glitch, if you guys haven't seen my badge glitch I posted earlier in the day, you guys need to check that out because that is another game-breaking glitch that you guys need to see before it does get patched. Now as you guys see, okay, so now that the regular season is now over, we're just going to hold X and go all the way through the playoffs. None of this matters. But you guys are about to see a crucial part in what makes this VC glitch so overpowered. Now, once we sim through all of this crap that we do not care about, cool, the Lakers won the championship. Well, what a surprise. But as this sims, like I said, we're going to go to the team that offers us the most VC possible. Now, once you guys see this screen, you're going to be like, well, JJ, they all offer us the same amount of VC. Do not worry because I know the way around this. So we're going to enter free agency. We're not going to sign with the team that we previously were on. So for the example, we're on the Cavs, all right? We're going to go down to the Nets. And now we're going to try to bargain for a huge contract. You see they're offering 400 a game. Now you guys need to lower everything else and then up your VC. What I originally did, I did over 800 per game. That's what my first offer was okay so now they're obviously going to react they're going to decline it so now we're going to go a little bit lower and we're going to meet in the middle so i think i offered like 795 right 
So then they disagreed with that, and now they offer $7.55. Now, this is when you guys want to go down to offer $7.75 a game, and they will accept it. So there you go. We just made $345 more VC a game on top of whatever else you guys are going to make. So once we do do that, we're going to hop into our options really quick. Go down to our settings, and now we're going to want to change our difficulty to Hall of Fame. This is going to give us a 1.5 times VC multiplier, which is going to add on to the 785 VC that we're already going to be earning, period. Okay, so now after you do that, you guys are going to want to play a My Career game, okay? I sim to the end of the game just to show you guys what you're going to need to do. I'm not going to make you guys watch the whole game. Don't worry, I'm not here to waste your guys' time. So now I slowed this down just so I could talk a little bit to explain this. Once you guys play your My Career game, don't worry, you're going to play like six minutes worth of gameplay. It's going to put you in at the fourth quarter. You need to have at least 30 seconds or less left in the game for this to work. I luckily got subbed in with 10 seconds to go, and this is how you set it up perfectly, okay? So now that you guys fully understand what's going to happen, you guys can even pause, wait till you get to the point in your game to be able to do it. But once you guys get within 30 seconds left of the game, what you're going to want to do is either one, win or lose the game. I got unlucky in this example, okay? But it's fine. Do not worry. What we're going to want to do now, since we're under 30 seconds, we're at 10 seconds, we're going to go to the quit option and hit save and quit. What this is going to do, it's going to create a save point and we're going to take advantage of that save point. Okay, so from there, it's going to take you guys to the main menu. And once we hit yes to quit out of the game, like I said, this is what's going to set up the glitch. So now, one, we have the VC amount. We have the Hall of Fame difficulty plus the new contract, which is going to benefit you guys getting around 800 to 850 a game, depending on what your grade is in that game, assuming you played really well. So once we do back out, we are going to load directly back into the My Career game, okay? Okay, so once we do load back into our My Career game, if you guys did do that portion right, which you really shouldn't mess up that, it's going to take you guys back into whenever you saved last in the game. So what it does, assuming that you quit and save before 30 seconds, um, it's going to save to the last dead ball. So for my example, like you guys seen before I quit, we're at 10 seconds. Now, since my game was tied, I had to make a quick decision. I had to foul them. You do not want to go into overtime. If you are like me and it got messed up, just let your team lose, okay? It's going to mess up if you guys go to overtime. So you guys either need to lose the game or win the game. It does not matter in the end. You guys are still going to get your VC, but you need a final score to happen. So once this happens, there's three seconds left. Once we lose, I'm going to show you guys what you need to do next and to be able to ensure that you keep the VC per game. So now that you guys have seen that we lost, we're going to do one simple thing at one simple point in order to ensure that we can keep repeating this over and over again. Okay, so once this pops up, the moment that the VC earn screen stops moving, we're going to want to close our application. You guys are going to see whenever my screen turns black, that is whenever I hit my PS button and hit close app. Okay, so once the VC earn pops up and it stops, we are going to see how much VC we earned. And now that is when you close your app. Okay, so after we do close the app, we're going to load back into the same file. And again, you know you did it right, is if you load into the game and you see that you're at the same exact save point. Now, one, let me say, if you guys want to check your VC, do not worry. The easiest way you can do it is download the NBA 2K21 app, and you guys can progressively check your VC count. But again, you guys are going to see the second clip of me redoing it. Don't worry, it's not the same clip. In this video, you're going to see that we win this game. Just to prove it is the same game, we both loaded in the 10 seconds, and this time, we do fortunately win so you guys have seen that i loaded into two save points on the same game one we lost and the second one we won so let me just say you guys are about to see the same exact process and then from there you guys should understand what is going on in this glitch and how to keep repeating it hopefully you guys have understood everything i've explained in today's video and if you haven't there's always the comment section down below for me to help you but like i said all you guys gotta do is one get onto a new player two sim to the end of the season sign with another team, finagle your way to a higher contract, and then hop into a game, play to the end, and it's easy as that. Once you play to the end, you make a save point, you back out, you load back into the game, wait till the game ends, and then you close your app on the VC count. Hopefully in today's video, you guys learned something and or enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and hopefully in today's video, I earned a subscription. If I did not, tell me why down in the comment section below, but regardless, it's been your boy JJ2K. I am out. Peace.